A special exhibition is currently underway here in the country, much to the delight of those interested, as many events have been cancelled, postponed, reduced in size or turned remote amid the pandemic. Now, having said that, I turn now to Chan Song Cho, who is at the exhibition. Song Cho, good to see you again. Good afternoon, Sunny. So where exactly are you at Songcho? So I'm at the Kintex Convention Center in Goyang, northwest of Seoul, where the Robot World Exhibition is taking place. It's the biggest international robot exhibition in South Korea. Each year, it brings together hundreds of companies together, uh, and all of their companies are showcasing all of the latest state-of-the-art technologies. And this year, it's no exception. The venue is packed with people, as you can see, and all of them have come here to showcase their products or to be dazzled by the latest technologies. But of course, since we're uh, in the middle of the pandemic right now, they had to uh, follow public safety protocols before entering the venue. So they had to go through uh, what's called the dis disinfecting gate and they had to step in front of the camera for a body temperature check. Uh, but see, even the simple uh, step of entering the venue involves so many different devices these days uh, because we want to avoid direct contact with other people as much as possible. And that is why robots have become an essential part of a war against COVID-19. All the companies participating in this exhibition all specialize in automation, artificial intelligence, and uh, robotics. And now that all of their products are in uh, put together in one place, it looks more like a sci-fi movie to me. Don't you think? So this first uh, product that I want to show you right now is this robotic arm. So uh, it's fast becoming one of the most important tools on the production line. It can be used for several manufacturing applications, including welding and material uh, handling. It, it helps increase throughput while also removing workers from dangerous environments. And then next, uh, the robot that I want to show you is this four-legged robot. All right, so it looks more like an animal right so as you can see it has four feet and um, it's said to be more versatile than wheeled products because it can traverse many different terrains um, so they're exceptional at maneuvering in hazards hazardous challenging environments uh, here is a worker from the company so let me talk to him ask him a question So, so like I said, it's more versatile than the traditional wheeled uh, robots because they can go on different terrains like steps and they can even step over um, different um, floors and different types of grounds. So this can be very uh, exceptionally useful in rescue and search operations. Um, so let me talk to another official from Kintex. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, so this exhibition is, of course, is a platform where uh, companies are showcasing their products and technologies. But I also heard that uh, this is providing a lot of opportunities for uh, the companies as well. And that's right. Uh, there are 160 companies attending this exhibition, including overseas exhibitors. Uh, because uh, travel, international travel, remains difficult amid this pandemic. We have prepared overseas business meetings with the foreign buyers. Also, uh, we hold invest day program to boost overseas investment to local companies. All right, thank you so much for your answer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now it's jumping now. <laughs> so even though it is a scaled down version, uh, this exhibition is full of surprising and exciting technologies and it still managed to blow me away. Some people still worry about uh, robots replacing humans' jobs in the future, but, but, but what's clear to me, at least today, is that our future will be much more efficient and safer thanks to these advanced machines. This has been Chun Sung-chul reporting live from Koyang and back to Sunny in the studio.
All right, Sancho, thank you for that glimpse into the future.